IIs, right? The fairies of the, of Socionics, the floating unicorns who don't know where they're going and what they want, but they feel some calling that draws them into into this kind of path. I mean, those IIs are crazy, but we still love them. So let's get into it. So NI, uh, let's give a brief explanation of what NI being an NI base means for NI. They're very, they're people who are very focused on symbolism. Okay, and the symbolism is gonna be connected to people, to to personalities, to love, to to patterns in the universe, as we call it. And uh, those uh, NI bases and uh, like IIs tend to often believe in things like destiny, things like fate. They m meddle around those concepts, and everything that they do, they want it to be connected to something bigger. A song that they might listen might represent a part of someone that they know that draws them in stuff like that basically everything that they are that they feel strongly about it's not they don't like it for what it is like they won't just like an object because it's a fucking cute looking object but usually it can mean there is a stronger meaning and symbolism behind this object so they're very symbolic and and people who live for meaning in life very romantic very extremely romantic extremely and this romanticism is often mixed with this meaning and the, the, the double meaning the the symbolism so you can see um there's a mixture of it that really makes it even makes them extremely obvious in iei as a very romantic type and then let's let's go let's go to fe so Effie, it's cautious Effie, okay, so they might not be the most expressive people, actually, when you first meet them. They might be even more withdrawn, they might be more even cold and detached-seeming, so don't worry, there are IEIs who are that way, that doesn't mean they're mistyped. Because remember, their Effie is cautious, it's not bold. Um, But they still have, when, when you get closer to them, in those, in, in, with those kind of IEIs that they're more closed off and more aloof, you will still see a, a lot of emotional expression. They live for emotional expression. And let's let's not uh, kid ourselves. They're beta and F type. Very dramatic type. Extremely fucking dramatic type. Emotional displays. Uh, I want to die for my love. And all kinds of shit. That's just, man, makes most people feel like, what the fuck? What's wrong with this person? But... That's the quality that they possess, right? So, uh, very emotionally expre uh, ex expressive. A lot of what they do, uh, they, they're it's it's connected to emotionally expressing themselves. Okay, so maybe they're artists, maybe they're they're, they're writers, whatever. That is that's how they will will uh, will do it. Very good, extremely good, and and manipulate manipulating the emotional sphere of the environment, and they're way more cautious with it and way more um, way more meticulous and, and careful with its use unlike FE base you can see FE base coming like if they try to con you or manipulate you it's they they think they're master manipulators but you can see them fucking across the hallway coming at you with IEIs pff, it's actually not as simple IEIs can be extremely skilled in manipulating the emotional sphere of things so be careful lads don't get fucked over by IEI, especially when they're teenagers. Motherfucker's gonna break your heart, make you fucking cry and shit, and then be like, oh, I feel so sorry, I'm sorry. Often, you know, IEIs, man, gotta love them, love them. Uh, SI, nobody gives a fuck about SI, it's boring as fuck, no offense to uh, SLIs, I like them. But, basically, they don't pay attention as much to, to their environment, their bodily functions, but they can still be interested in stuff like aesthetics, you know, like they might be focused on feeling cozy and feeling comfortable. So while they're not great at it, they still might try to produce that kind of effect. So IEIs can certainly be focused on aesthetics, certainly can be focused on making things look pretty, how they feel, making things look uh, feel comfortable. That's... Uh, still can be a quality of IEIs, not just SEIs. Now let's go to the TE, right? The biggest weak spot, you know? And I know, oftentimes IEIs are considered the lol cow, uh, their TE is considered the lol cow of socionics, like like literally inept individuals who cannot live in the fucking real world. Now, 
Some of it's true. No, I'm, 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 I'm just saying. But uh, how it, uh, it basically, those people are not the most practical people. That their dreams and what they want in life are really not based on pragmatism usually. Okay, so don't expect fucking pragmatic actions. Lead, like they don't lead with pragmatic actions. Simple as that. They might have a hard time figuring things out that in an efficient way. That doesn't mean they can't, but it means that they um, they will. It will take more time. And then the, another big thing with with IEIs and TE Polar is they completely they they literally follow their own logical framework at all cost. Okay, so they have an I and they have the TI when it comes to thinking. Well, imagine them trying to come up with shit and with a logical framework. They'll use TI. So, so what's going to happen is they will completely be focused on their understanding of the world around them based on their NI and TI, the pattern recognition, while oftentimes just completely abandoning TE. Like zero, zero, like no focus on objectivity or what objective reality is, but rather their understanding of it. Which is why some IAs can be genuinely brain dead. Some of the things they might say make no fucking sense. Uh, some of the things they might say or believe in, you can make a counter argument using basic objective logic and it falls apart, but they will still be extremely stubborn. So remember that they focus on their personal logic while abandoning objective reality oftentimes and objectivity and factual information um, they might be a bit slower with uh, figuring shit out but they still can do it I see one of the most interesting things in in IAs and many people I feel like have an issue uh, trying to figure out if they're an IEI or an EII right and actually the, the difference is so fucking huge okay Difference between you shouldn't you shouldn't really confuse an IEI with an EII. I'm literally gonna say it uh, right now, no fucking way. Um. So SC, how it, how it manifests? Okay, <laughs> it's gonna be funny. But if anyone watched the fucking TV series Euphoria, there's a, there's a scene with this fat chick cat. Uh, fucking cam girl. She's doing the cam girl life. She's an AI, lol. And uh, she has a dream, a fantasy, okay? And a fantasy where her boyfriend gets slaughtered in a kitchen full of the fucking blood squirting by a big, swole Viking guy. And he's just blood squirting. And he's saying something like, yeah, killing people fucking makes my dick hard. And like, okay. I know, it's fucking funny when you think about it, but then he comes forward and I'm like, I'm gonna, like, stick this sword in your vagina or some shit. That's basically a good example of what SE Seeking is. Okay? The, the boyfriend was, like, an, a nerd, like an LII. Like, a really good guy, actually. But she wanted to get destroyed, completely fucking destroyed and broken. So she 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 went for the Viking SLE. <laughs> but that's SE Seeking. They seek SE in people. They oftentimes have inertia they have difficulty being motivated difficulty f pushing themselves difficulty staying motivated and and starting tasks so they can respond well to being pushed in a certain way doesn't mean that they will like it from everyone or that's always going to work because they can be extremely stubborn so just because an ii likes a c doesn't mean that they're going to respond to it every time or to everyone but they like being motivated. They like you to push them. They like you to motivate them and make them better. You basically need to make them feel... Make them grounded. Okay? Make them grounded. That's what they need. Because they're often floating in the fucking sky. So, now, as he suggested, it still it still means... Uh, while it's weak, they still can try hard it. Or they can still be quite explosive, argumentative, stubborn, dramatic, uh, even even downright aggressive sometimes. They might be very argumentative, they might be uh, thrill-seekers to some extent, they kind of might enjoy that lifestyle on their low key, you know? Like, you know, oh, I'm an innocent church girl who prays to God while then go, goes to fucking orgies, gets gangbanged, and loves to, like, do coke. Basically fucking I.I. in a nutshell. Okay? So, no offense to I.I.s. So, that's kind of kind of it. They might have an almost like an edgy side to them. Like very can be aggressive, can be forceful. So don't underestimate the SE. 
It's there, okay? It's there. They're not like I, the EIIs. EIIs just don't want to fucking do it. Any kind of forceful na- forcefulness or violence of anything, like kind of higher use of that kind of assertiveness, they just kind of be like, nah, I'm out, man. I'm a fucking nun. You know, I'm a monk. Fuck that. I'm out. With IEIs, not so much. They will engage with it. They will fucking engage with it and surprise you with it. So remember that. SE. Uh, TI. Um... Basically, what I was saying about them having this internal framework of their logical system, um, that's basically it. They rely on that, okay? And their TI is immobilizing, meaning it can be very tryhard. It can be very in your face. They might even be confused for a logical type, like an ILI or or fucking whatever. Even some some people might even type some IIs in LSI. It does happen because the, the TI is a mobilizing element. So they're very, very meticulous, great at, if you want an IEI to do something for you, make them analyze things, analyze people, analyze systems. They can be very good, especially if it, if it has people in them, like, like it's re- in relation to people. Great, long analysis. They're very meticulous, very careful and precise. So they're amazing in it. They're very good in, in, in creating their own internal knowledge. And they, that's, what they, that's what they rely on. To them... Life is subjective. To them, life is how they perceive it, rather than what it might even be. Any uh, IAS actually very stubborn, <laughs> a very stubborn type, and very can be extremely resistant to outside information, extremely resistant to changing its beliefs to ideologies. So uh, be careful; they might be extremely fucking stubborn. Now, FI, FI demo. IA is interesting because they have FI demos, very strong uh, FI, but they're not guided by it. They can be friends with degenerates or pieces of shit, and or they might be friends with people who might not be seen as good guys, but by societal standards, like SLEs. And they won't mind it, they might even believe, no, this guy's a good guy. Because even though he's a fucking dickhead and whatever, you know, blah, 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 he still has a good heart. So those people are very flexible in, when it comes to FI oftentimes. They don't really use it as to, to gauge their life. That's not how they view life, not through the lens of FI. But they have strong reactions. They can have very strong subconscious reactions with FI to people, to things, the things that they might feel is wrong, right, and shit like that. So they still have those reactions. And they can be quite moral, remember that, because it's still FI demo, so it's still in your face. Uh, and that's it, man. That's that's basically AI in a nutshell. Hopefully, I didn't forget anything. Um, but AIs are great, you know. AIs are really really cool type. I like them a lot. So, uh, any questions? Ask me whatever. You guys know the drill. Uh, peace out.